Okay, so now that you're comfortable, or fairly comfortable, with uh, the Three Studio Max interface, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create a, a very simple prop using only primitives, and hopefully this will uh, guide you a bit through how to build a, a, a prop like that with primitives. And um, in the process of it, I'm hoping that you'll get more used to the the controls and uh, the different options and uh, ways of modeling that uh, Three Studio Max offers. So what I'm going to just do is a very simple chair and I'm just going to go ahead and start and then talk you over what I'm doing. So I'll just start off with a box and the first thing I'm going to do is just one leg. So I'm just going to eyeball it here and make one of the legs. And one of the neat features about 3D Studio Max is that creating a duplicate of something is really simple. So uh, to create a copy of something, if I hold uh, the shift key and then move, it will create a duplicate. So here we got uh, a duplicate of our original object. And there's three different types of, of uh, copies. One's a copy, one's an instance, and the other one's a reference. A copy just creates a copy that you can edit yourself. And an instance, if you create an instance, uh, if you modify the original object, it will also be modified on the instance copy. So I'm just going to create a copy like this and press OK. And I'm going to actually do the same. So to select multiple objects, I'm going to hold control. So I click on one, then I hold control. And see, so you get a little plus button on the select uh, cursor. I press the next uh, object, and it selects it. If I wanted to, uh, um, uh, how do you say, uh, subtract one of my selections, I can just hold Alt, click, and it subtracts it from my selection. So. Now that I've got the two uh, chair legs uh, created, I'll shift and duplicate another one. And again, just make copies. And there I've got my four legs. And now I want to make the base for where the, where the person would be sitting. So what I'm going to do here is, because I'm, I'm going to make it as if it looked a bit cushioned, uh, instead of using a standard primitive, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use an extended primitive. And I'm going to use a chamfer box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top view, so I'm going to go out of perspective and go to my top view, uh, maximize that viewport, and I'm going to create uh, the sitting area. So using the reference from the top view, I'll make the height around 5 and then chamfer it a little. And now I can go back into my perspective view and see how it looks. And say I wanted to edit it a little, uh, I can always go into, again, the modifier panel and edit it here. So I think this might be uh, a bit too small, so I'm going to make it a tiny bit big, so I'm going to make it 50 by 50. Actually, let's keep it 50 by 47, so that it, we have a better... And then uh, height, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go 5.5 just to round it up. And the fillet is basically the, the chamfer that it does. I'm quite happy with that, but if you wanna, if I wanted to change it a little more, like the 3, then I could just press 3 there and it would be fine. Uh, I'm just going to keep it at uh, 2.6 uh, or something like that. And that looks fine to me. So now we've got the chair uh, legs and the chair uh, sitting area. Or the cushion. Uh, now we'll do the sort of back support. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my left view and model through here. And now here I'm going to instead of staying in wireframe, I'm going to press um. Sorry, the little thingy came up. I'm going to press the uh, shading options, and I'm gonna, just going to go to realistic, so that I can look properly. Oops, sorry, look properly at what I'm. Uh, what I have to see. So now I'm going to create uh, another box and I'm going to first make the back support and then the uh, connectors to the back support. So again I'll make this a cushion so in the extended primitives I'll just uh, I'll go ahead and um, create a chamfer box and I'm going to go ahead and again I'm, I'm eyeballing it, it's nothing uh, nothing fancy. 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as it is. I'm gonna go over here and see if it's in the right position. And um, let's say I want it a bit further back. And let's say I'm gonna have it a bit rotated. So I'm gonna rotate it a tiny bit like that. And that should do. And now we're gonna have the uh, uh, support for the back. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to my top view. And I'm gonna just move this a bit, and I'm gonna MI all in it. I'll show the align tunes in a later tutorial, um, but we'll be using those a bit later on. And now I'm gonna use uh, a normal standard primitive, make a box. This should be fine, and I'm gonna go to my perspective view and edit that box. So obviously, I don't want it to be where it is right now, so I'll move it there. And I want it to be rotated a bit to uh, the left. So actually, I'm going to change the pivot and put it on the side a bit, so, it'll, so I get the rotation that I want. And um, just rotate it a tiny bit like that. And then I'm going to make the height. Uh, what is it? 23 now. So I think 40 should do. And now I need to rotate it um, this way. I'll rotate it in there so it fits. And as you can see, the cushion isn't exactly um, uh, as thick as it should be, so I'm just going to scale it and make it a bit thicker. Bring it in, and that should do. So I've got that. I'm going to create a copy of this, holding shift. Okay, and I'm going to uh, mirror it to on the... Is it the Z axis it has to be? No, the Y axis, yeah, that's the one. So basically the mirror tool um, basically creates a mirror of the original uh, object that you have. So I don't want any clone at all, and I want to um, mirror it on the Y axis. And the, the mirror will be based of where the pivot is, so it's very important to have the pivot in the correct place when you're going to mirror something. So I'll create that, and bring that into here. I'm actually going to use the front viewport, uh, sorry, the left viewport to check out thingy. Oh, uh, to check out where it is. And another thing, as you see, I'm switching really fast between uh, uh, viewports. Uh, the way to do that is you press left for the left viewport, then you press uh, F for the front viewport, you press T for top, and then P for perspective. Okay? Uh, so I'm going to go again back to the left, and I'm going to make sure that these guys are more or less at the same distance that they should be and I'm quite happy with that so I'm gonna go back to perspective and um, I'm gonna create one more box that will define my um, that will be the middle sort of uh, support beam so uh, I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go back into my top view uh, and I'm gonna make this uh, wireframed because I won't be able to see it if not uh, because it would be underneath the cushion so I'm gonna make this come up like that and that should be enough oops and I'll just use move it on the z-axis and scale it on z and I'll have to rotate it a little, so rotate it like that. And as you can see, it's a bit too thick compared to the other two. So I'm going to go into the modify panel. Actually, I'm going to look at the properties of this. So it's about 5, 4, and 40. So 5, 4, and then 40 height. I don't need 40 height because I'm. It's already uh, connecting with the with the shape, so it's okay. So as you can see, there's a very simple chair. Um, I think the chairs might be a bit, I mean the legs might be a bit too tall, so um, we're going to just scale these down. And as you can see the pivot's in the center, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move the pivot uh, down to where it should be. And now scale from here. Make it oh that height. And now I'm going to select all the other objects, I'm going to move them down. And since the chair is kind of brown, I'm just going to make all the colors. I mean all the objects brown so 
So there you have it, we have a really simple chair. Maybe I'll make the cushion another colour around uh, just grey like that. The same with that. But yeah, again, there you have it. Um, this very simple to model with primitives. And honestly, like this, th we'd never really use this kind of modeling uh, when making games. Um, but uh, it's a very good way to get used to uh, everything uh, you need to know from the uh, in in 3 Studio Max. It's, get, it's a good way to get used to the navigational tools, moving and rotating. So I encourage you to do uh, three or four models of this. Uh, you can go more complex if you want. Um, this is obviously very simple, so it, it's really up to you guys. Um, just go ahead and make some models and have fun with it.